sand and gravel is going to be dug out. You can't just leave sand pits. Let's make them into lakes. Let's have properly uh, designated and properly landscaped lakes. And that's how the lakes came to be created. The first time I came to Neem Park was on a board visit. It must have been the early 70s. I had to come down and open the gate for the bus that, <laughs> that brought the board members down. We came here in 1980 and we came to camp at the caravan site as it is today. And honestly, it was like Beirut, it was awful. We said we're never going to come back here. But the park seemed a good idea, but I don't think anyone realised what a good idea it was at the time. And it's often referred to as the, um, the jewel in the crown of Peterborough, which I think is a fair description. You, you see the changes, and I've seen changes sort of throughout the seasons from year to year, and you think, but it's, it's just brilliant, you know, what you can see in a, a half an hour in the park. Well, we had a guy come on one day, he'd spent three days looking for some nice photographs of kingfishers, and he popped on the airboat with his wife. Within ten minutes, he'd got a kingfisher about three feet from the end of his camera lens. I just think all the histories are amazing and they can be so informal, you know, and accents come across and laughter comes across. So I think all history really brings the life into the history.